Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to take a walk around the Chantilly show, a 300 table baseball card show down near Washington, D.C. You can see we are greeted by the baseball card exchange right when we enter the hall here and check out what they've got a really nice box of 1993 sp i personally cannot wait to open a box of those one of these days on the channel take a look at what we have 125 vendors in this video we're going to walk around and show you kind of like the inventory and give you uh kind of a good idea of what they have at uh the chantilly show which this is the first major card show that I've been to since last year, and I, I did notice some of the prices on singles were post-pandemic prices, so I didn't buy a ton of stuff, but I will show you everything that I picked up here during this video. So there's a whole lot of vendors that had a lot of the newer boxes here. Here you can see uh, just a ton of stuff from 2017 to 2020, lots of hobby boxes. They had a, a bunch of jerseys there and hoodies. I picked up a bunch of those. Anything Mike Trout related you can find here as well. I noticed this and I kind of took a picture of this or at least a video of the Bowman Chrome Mega Box for $60 and I was explaining, hey, I just picked those up for $45 at the mall show. You got to be careful. Um, you got to shop around a little bit. One of the nice things about the card shows is the 10 cent boxes and they did not disappoint. I probably could have spent the entire day just at that one stand looking through those 10 cent boxes unfortunately we only bought half day passes they were five dollars a piece for anybody 10 years of age or older so um we didn't have all that much time with a half day check out those mickey mantles uh, nice graded card uh, right there mickey mantle hank aaron 1956 tops in there but anyway we had about two and a half hours there i am sorting through some cards trying to find some rookie cards i did pick out a couple things out of the 10 cent boxes but not a whole bunch of stuff so i didn't spend too much time because i wanted to make sure i was able to get through everything you can see a bunch of psa graded cards in this showcase one of the things that i dislike about showcases like that one is there's no prices on anything so you kind of have to like ask and see what they want which is a little bit annoying they don't just have baseball cards at this show either check out the memorabilia here these autographed mickey mantle framed photographs pretty awesome stuff the i guess quote unquote original 500 home run club right there all signed autos and relics for two dollars a piece they have fat packs lots of uh and there's a lot of uh, retail stuff here um was on sale uh, some lots of blaster boxes and fat packs this case was pretty cool lots of rookie cards there you see the acuna jr rookie card george brett robin yound ken griffey jr marion rivera lots of great rookies in that case i didn't buy anything from this guy but thought he had a pretty nice selection there's heather looking through some baseball cards and off to the left they have some vintage stuff it's the vintage bargain box so let's take a look through this to show you what we've got in here so some 1970 tops cards at about five dollars a piece Typically, when I'm thinking vintage bargain stuff, though, I'm thinking around like a dollar or two, but, um, you know, those prices still weren't that bad. There's a Mickey Mantle PSA. I think that's a PSA 5. I picked up that card down in Tennessee a couple months ago for, I believe it was like 180 I think I paid for it or something like that, but I'm pretty sure mine was a PSA 3, I want to say. Lots of boxes. I, I had to kind of rain myself in i want to buy like every box i did buy a ton of boxes here and i'll show you them in a minute but i really like this stand just tons of packs they were 50 cents a pack unless otherwise marked so could have had some fun here um and this guy by the way was really cool that had all those packs he was giving packs away for free to all the kids which is really really cool to him and uh actually i ended up spending the most money at his stand so let's go around to the right and i'll show you why i spent so much money there you can see all that junk wax just piled up there all that 88 89 91 score off to the side yeah i'm gonna jump all over that now the prices on those were 15 dollars a box 
which I can probably get those for around $15 to $20 per box after shipping on eBay. So I don't know if that's a great price, but he worked with me and uh, he added everything up and gave me the total. He's like, well, the grand total here is $575. What would you do? I said, how about... 320 bucks which was roughly ten dollars a box and he accepted it so all that stuff you see there that's all in my house right now i, I guess we can go through that and show you that stuff if you really want to see it but i needed to get uh, all those old packs for the patreon packages for the upcoming months uh then there's some nice cards in here the nice 1955 tops couple 1955 tops ted williams cards i see a 1960 willie mays in there Lots of great vintage cards, which always just kind of draws me in. There's a, a Mickey Mantle card there that I was pointing out to the kiddos. And next up, we have the another Mickey Mantle card. This one was $32. You can see Mantle's in the bottom right. That entire case was half off, which is a pretty good deal. So I recommended um, that that one might be a good purchase for $16 in pretty good shape. Lots of vintage cards, and it's kind of hard to see because I walked around with my iPhone out, just kind of filming everything. Uh, there's the Mickey Mantle rookie card right there. It is a four, and uh, I, don't, I don't have no idea what that was going for. One thing I, I don't like about, I don't want to say I don't like it, but one thing that's a little bit irritating for a lot of these tables is there's no price tags on most of the stuff, and you got to ask about pretty much anything that you're interested in next tables we work our way around you can see lots of football at this one they have the dollar boxes again lots of dollar boxes and quarter boxes almost picked up a couple of these boxes for toss back tuesday on patreon or throwback thursday here on the main channel i didn't end up buying anything at that stand they i'll show you what i picked up here in a minute this four for a dollar bin wasn't that bad i actually spent probably about five minutes here looking through some of these cards and i picked up i think it was maybe like two or three dollars worth of cards we have some more um top loaded cards there you see a daryl strawberry 1984 tops over there and a bo jackson 92 tops i guess that must be a, a gold Ken Griffey Jr. 89 Don Ross rookie card for five bucks. I remember back in the day, just two years ago, you could get that card for about a dollar at most card shows, but it's uh, definitely gone up quite a bit. Sports cards, I what's that? Sports cards plus, look at this collection. Kind of like a set builder's dream right there. You can just take your little checklist of all the cards you need and just spend a, a lot of time just going through those binders and picking out all the cards you need. Here's another quick little panorama from the i guess the northeastern portion of the expo hall I don't, I don't know what you call it expo hall exposition hall some more sets for those you like to build sets had to go right to the 1952 tops kind of it's interesting how they just wrote right on there how much each card is obviously card number 311 mickey mantle is not going to be hanging out in a binder actually i didn't even see that card today i was hoping that maybe just maybe somebody had the 52 tops mantle but um unfortunately didn't get a sight of it at all today anywhere usually i see it once or twice at the national every year unfortunately there's no national this year check out this guy he had a bunch of odd oddball odds and ends some rack packs for like five dollars like 91 don russ and uh the kicker here is these umpire cards could go after a nice joe west card for 95 i almost bought that box I was seriously considering buying that box for just a random off-the-wall throwback Thursday of umpire cards and searching for Angel Hernandez and Joe West. I actually ended up buying a couple boxes from that guy. They were just the typical 92 stadium club cards, So, A whole bunch of great Hall of Famers in these cases, including Roberto Clemente. We've got some more boxes here. Man, how boxes have shot up. It's now $60 for 87 Don Russ. Uh, what's that? $30 for 89 Don Russ. Just four years ago we were getting those for like six seven dollars a box they had a bunch of team sets or not team sets but factory sets there as you can see the upper deck factory set i think had a 125 dollar price tag on there and the 91 score series 2 25 dollars a box all because of the mickey mantle autograph chase cards that are randomly inserted in there found some more junk wax boxes here 15 dollars a box 
uh, for Tops Big and 90 Donra. So I passed on those. I actually picked up a bunch of boxes today. I went out to a card store out in Ohio. I'll do that video for you at some point here over the next week. Check out all these PSA graded cards. Quite a collection here. A bunch of 1960 Mantle PSAs in there along with some Kofaxes. We have a bunch more blaster boxes here for like $35 per box. Chronicles, I can't find those at Walmart anymore because everyone gobbles them up and marks them up, unfortunately. And then they, uh, this guy had not a lot of nice rookie cards. There you see an Aaron Judge rookie card being pulled and purchased. One thing I noticed though, around noon, a lot of... Um, a lot of dealers were kind of packing it up, so I was glad that we went for the morning session because I feel like if we would have gone in the afternoon, maybe, I don't want to say a quarter of the vendors were gone, but um, there were a few, especially on this side of the hall, that were obviously packing it up for uh, the day. Maybe they had a long drive back to wherever they came from. Here's the good old three for a dollar bin of junk wax packs. Always fun to look through those. They had some 89 Donruss packs in there actually, which isn't too bad. Some nice Mickey Mantle cards in there with no prices on there. And then Steel City Collectibles, the local card store around here. It's based in Pittsburgh, actually White Oak, which is, I don't know, about 40 minutes from me. Lots and lots of boxes here you can see that is basketball and football the baseball's on the other side but everybody was looking at the baseball so i kind of had to work my way around them we'll give you a quick little view of that right now some of those were pretty good prices i thought their chronicles price was very low and um, i guess if you buy from them here you don't have to pay for the uh the shipping so i'm going to show you exactly what i picked up i'll show you the singles and the boxes right now all right, here's what I came back with. We'll just kind of sort through it here as we go along. Uh, all right, how many boxes did I pick up? I think there's about 30 some boxes. We had the Stadium Club boxes. I bought these from the guy that had the umpire cards. They were $15 each or two for 25. He gave me three of them for 32. I asked for three for 30, but he's like, yeah, the best I can do is three for 32. So I was like, I'm not going to quibble over that there was there's an 89 box all these boxes again they're all 15 dollars a piece as you can see on there there's a 92 stadium club another 89 score box which is pretty nice some nice rookies in there 91 score I used to like 91 score as a kid but again those ones were only five dollars a box 14.95 for 89 score, 92 score, one of my brother's favorite sets of all time um, with those dream team cards in there. This guy had a lot of score. And um, like I said, what he did was he added everything up. There's an, the uh, 92 score series two. I don't know exactly what the odds are of finding one of those Mickey Mantle cards, especially those autographed Mickey Mantle cards, but they aren't very good to say the least, but maybe we'll just have to open a couple cases one of these days and see if we can find it. You will be able to find 92 or 91 Series 1 way cheaper typically than 91 Series 2 because of those mantle cards. So I'm going to try to just count out how many of these we got. How more is on the front of the box there in 91? I guess that makes sense since the Reds won the World Series. Back in 1990, the year before, Barry Larkin also getting the front of the box. Almost the whole case of these looks like. John Allerud on the front of one of those. There's Roger Clemens, seven-time Cy Young Award winner there. All right, so we have about, I'm going to do a quick count of all of these. We have one, two, three, four, five. There's 12, 13, 14 boxes of good old 1991 Series 2, looking for Mantle's uh, autograph cards. Then, I'll show you what's in here in a minute. Probably one of the things I was most excited about from the guy that I spent the uh, 300 bucks, 320 at, were these. He had a couple box of these, one game used memorabilia card inside each one of these. I think we're gonna use this for a throwback Thursday at some point, or a toss back Tuesday on Patreon. So, got two of those, 2008 tops with our Pujols on the front. We've got some 88 score boxes as well with Don Manley on the front. 
Um, there's three, four, five, six. And then we have a 90 uh, upper deck box and three 92 upper deck boxes. So uh, what was the grand total here? There was 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33 boxes there, not including 2008. And then I picked these up for a future um, Face Off Friday, 2017 Gypsy Queen and 2017 Heritage. I don't think we've ever opened those in Face Off Friday, so that'll be kind of fun. I also had to pick up some garb for myself and uh, show you what I picked up for you World Series champion Los Angeles Dodger fans. You'll like this shirt. It is a nice um, on-field, is that Therma Base just like what the players wear during like batting practice. Very, very nice material right there. Super comfortable. That was only 20 bucks. Usually they're like 70 bucks in the store. I don't know if it was last year's design. I also got a Yankees one as well. Uh, very nice right there. So I got two of those. And then they had a bargain bin for three for 10 bucks. So I picked up a Manny Ramirez jersey uh so it was three dollars and 33 cents for good old manny being manny extra large jersey and i also grabbed a bryce harper t-shirt from the national league all-star team extra large so that's um pretty much what i picked up i did get some singles as well but i have been to so many card stores and card shows the past week i don't know what i did with my singles uh, I feel like they may have gotten mixed together. So there were some 10 cent cards that I picked up and a couple uh, other cards. I guess I'll just kind of show those to you uh, in our triple play vintage video. I went out to a card store in Ohio that I absolutely love and picked up a whole bunch of singles and wax boxes. And I'll just put that in uh, with that video when I do that. So just want to give you a quick little, I guess, rundown of what I picked up. It's all this stuff. Lots of... Uh, wax boxes and if you were at the chantilly show let me know what you picked up always love going to card shows and uh, it's nice that they are starting back up again so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching everybody hope you'll check us out tomorrow live for throwback thursday we'll be opening 1983 1984 1985 baseball card exchange authenticated sealed boxes should be pretty darn fun so check us out for that new release on friday so Looks like we'll be live again for that for Panini Contenders. So have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.